New at 11, Julie Watts is here with some shocking results after she had her own daughter tested for a chemical also found in her car seat. And Julie, this is a popular car seat, pretty expensive as well, and they advertise as being eco-friendly. They sure did, which is why I bought it. I reported on it for right. years before I actually purchased it. You know, as a consumer reporter, I've covered the debate over chemical flame retardants and products for years. What I've learned has certainly impacted my personal life, but never hit this close to home. Long before my daughter was born, I swapped out my couch cushions on TV for a consumer story on flame retardant free foam. After covering concerning flame retardants and baby products, I bought the recommended mattress, changing pad, and car seat advertised to be free of dangerous flame retardant chemicals, including TDCPP. So imagine our surprise when a biomonitoring study revealed our daughter had that flame retardant in her body. Coincidentally, we just tested her car seat for an unrelated consumer investigation. The next day, Results from three independent labs confirmed it also contained TDCPP. TDCPP has been clearly shown to cause cancer. Toxicologist Martha Sandy, chief of the state's reproductive and cancer assessment branch, says a team of scientists reviewed decades of research in humans, animals, and cells before adding the flame retardant to California's list of known carcinogens in 2011, decades after it was taken out of kids' pajamas due to concerns. Sandy says kids are more susceptible to harmful chemicals and flame retardants break down and migrate into dust, which children are more likely than adults to inhale or ingest through hand-to-mouth contact. For instance, I also tested positive for TDCPP at 3.68 parts per billion in my body, lower than the average child in previous studies between 5 to 7 parts per billion. My toddler's results, more than 60 parts per billion. Should I be concerned? What should I do? I think what you have done in replacing the car seat with one which does not have this cancer-causing chemical in it is the right first step. And there's no reason to think that your daughter's going to get cancer from this particular exposure. She explains if you ingested 5.4 micrograms per day, your lifetime risk would be 1 in 100,000, not accounting for other chemicals in your body. And with a half-life of about 8 hours, TDCPP doesn't stay in the body for long once you identify and eliminate exposure. For instance, 24 hours after we got rid of my daughter's car seat, her levels dropped from 60 parts per billion to less than nine. 10 days later, less than five. What does that tell you? Well, that suggests that her car seat was a primary source of her exposure. In a statement, Orbit Baby said, since there are so many products and places where people can be exposed to various chemicals, it is difficult to definitively link a particular substance to a specific source. Though the Orbit is not alone. All car seats currently have flame retardants, some believed to be safer than others, but this technical report found concerning chemicals in 75% of those tested. It is the only children's product that you you as a parent are required by law to purchase. Car seat manufacturers want to be exempted from the federal flammability standard that they say requires they use flame retardants. You can use materials that meet NHTSA standard that don't have chemicals in them. It would be extremely, extremely expensive. So for now, Sandy's advice, always wash your child's hands when they get out of the car, clean and vacuum your car seat often, and only use your car seat in the car. The lower the exposure, the lower the risk. Now, fire scientists and consumer groups have long argued that flame retardants are unnecessary as there's no evidence they actually protect kids in a car fire. And tonight, a huge development. NHTSA tells us it will begin research on a new car seat flammability standard that could potentially be met without flame retardants. To find out in the meantime, which flame retardants are in your car seat, uh, we've got a link on our website that will allow you to test your car seat for free at Duke University. In fact, their testing program has been a game changer because it's giving parents the ability to find out what is in their car seat. Yeah, absolutely. It's huge. All right, Julie, thank you.